Before the yen broke back through 100 against the dollar, where next in your opinion? Well, I think most people are now targeting 105, which is still in the sphere of uh, uh, purchase price, price parity. Uh, but um, when it does break that level, it is now going to have a negative effect as well. For example, right now we have a massive amount of imports of LNG and crude oil because of aftermath of the Fukushima uh, uh, crisis. Uh, so there will be some negativity to be said, but for the time being, there still is a strength of overseas side, uh, very much to do with a strength in the United States that's coming, as we saw last night. And also also stabilization in Europe as well. Those are the two major external factors that are contributing to continuous weakening of the yen. So, Jiro, some analysts looking for a level, for example, a, as an indication where the Japanese exporters will start to, to sell the dollar. I mean, do you have an inclination where that level might be? Well, at this point, um, we're not seeing uh, uh, any signs of that. Uh, the reason for it being is that they're trying to recluster their positioning. I mean, they're only, only starting to reap the benefit of weakening of their yen, or I should say more like a correction of excessive uh, strength of the yen. Uh, and basically, not only benefiting from the uh, operating levels, but from here onwards, they'll be trying to claw some of the market share back through the pricing strategy, which they've lost immensely to the Germans and also to the Koreans on the high end and the low end, respectively. Uh, and for that reason, at this point, um, their FX policy still remains very conservative, targeting many of them at 90 into a dollar or 95 into a dollar, as we see the earnings right now. The, the wider side of things, that the Nikkei continues to jump. Does that continue as a result as well? Well, our strategy, Kikuchi, is still very bullish. Uh, he's targeting now well over 15,000 yen. Well, yes, the PE is getting a little bit rich, uh, about 17 times on average versus 14 times in Dow. But what we've got is further benefits from the yen kicking in on Japanese exporters, which would obviously uh, um, simmer down the PE levels. But moreover, we've got election coming up in July, July the 21st, the upper house election. We will be hearing quite a lot of more fiscal policies and possibly front-loading of many of the deregulatory terms as well which basically would uh, provide further positive themes to the stock market. Uh, and do you think that competitors like Germany, for example, will, will be complaining about this? Or are the Japanese basically getting their own back here? Well, basically, <laughs> I agree with the opinion that, you know, f the fact of the matter is, is only it's very recent that the Japanese have started to learn about verbal intervention. And compared to what they've been doing, uh, the Japanese authorities still have only just begun. So uh, the fact of the matter is, is I think uh, they will not consider that as a pressure. And most importantly, unless they get pressure from the United States, I doubt the Japanese authorities would really take into account to alter their strategy uh, in any sense or form.